Welcome back to 3D Coat from Scratch, Part 2. In our last session, we learned how to do basic navigation within 3D Coat, how to use the Move, Sphere, Smooth, Fill Tools, Drawing with the Snake Tool, and using Symmetry to our advantage. Now, hold down your right mouse button and drag to the right. Let's use the snake tool again and draw some arms on our rat. In the Tool Options panel, from this drop-down, select Hemisphere. Position your brush near the shoulder. Click and drag outward and downward. Left-click and drag in open space to see if you've put them in the right place. Control-Z if you need to do it again. Click, drag. You can see from this view, it's stuck to the side a little too much. Let's get a better angle. Click, outward and downward. That's much better. Let's smooth out the junction between the shoulder and the body using the Fill Tool. From the front, simply stroke over the shoulder area, rotate your view, and do the same thing in the back. And underneath. This provides a nice smooth junction. The palm of the hand can be formed by using the Muscle Tool. Right-click and drag on the object to size your brush. Right-click on the end of the arm to position where the muscle begins. Left-click and drag to form the palm. You can always use Ctrl-Z to start again. In this case, the palm was a little small and positioned improperly on the end of the arm. Let's try again. That should do it. Let's choose the Fill Tool and fill in the junction between the palm and the arm. Let's select the Move Tool again and we'll use it to shape the palm to better accommodate the thumb and the fingers. Now select the Snake Tool, and we'll start adding the thumb and the fingers. Right-click to position, size the brush, left-click and drag. Check your work from all sides by left-clicking and dragging in the open space. Now position and size your brush to draw the index finger. If that worked well, move to the middle finger and then the pinky. As you know, cartoons only have three fingers and a thumb.
Again, the fill tool is what we need to fill in the junctions between the thumb, the fingers, and the palm. We can use the Grow tool to enlarge the ends of each of the digits. Just click once or twice and you'll find that's enough. The Grow tool can also be used to produce knuckles. Just click once. Use the Smooth tool to make the knuckles less pronounced. First, right-click and drag to lower the intensity of the smooth. At low intensities, the Smooth tool can also reduce bulging. Use it here to smooth out the shoulder. Right click and drag in open space, and then rotate your model to get an overall view. Using the Grow tool with the Control key pressed down, allows us to make an indentation in the palm. Make sure and use the right mouse button and drag downward to reduce the intensity of the effect. Use the Smooth tool to even out any bulges. Even at this late stage, we can use the Move tool to make extreme changes in the geometry.
The Grow tool can also help you recover lost volume. When using any tool, holding down the Shift key allows you to invoke the Smooth command. This saves time. 